Um, for those who don't feel offended, uh, we will sing the national anthem. I'll request you to take off your hats. much. You may take your seats. That's a good sign. Dr. Law, please do the honors. By virtue of the authority vested in, in me as Executive Dean of Regenesis, I now declare the assembly open in order to pay homage to those upon whom certificates, degrees, masters and doctor of business management will be conferred and awarded. Thank you very much. Let's give that a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is William Vivian. I, as promised, have the next two hours with you. I am honored um, and I don't take this for granted uh, to be the master of ceremony this evening because it is a big night for a Genesis. Let me take this opportunity first to welcome Dr. Marcos Oravanya, the chairperson of the Genesis, Mr. Stembi Zopagati, who is a keynote address from, for tonight, who's coming from De De Deloitte's Consulting here in Johannesburg, the executive uh, dean, Dr. Pedro, the registrar, uh, Metowero Gondwe, the academic faculty led by Professor Flip Skete, the executive management of Regenesis. Let me also take this opportunity to welcome our dean, Dr. Swongiseni Kumalo, Mayor Swongile Kumalo, Lekogo from all the way from Underbeck, Makumalo. to have you tonight as, a rep as representatives of those that we serve. More importantly tonight, our graduates, all of you when I came in earlier, you looked amazing, you looked beautiful, you looked ready for tonight, and I noticed that you brought everyone from the one-month-old baby to the 80-year-old girl is in the house. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. <laughs> it's a beautiful night, of course, because we celebrate you tonight. But we come together, of course, knowing very well our challenges as a country, high levels of unemployment, as revealed in the recent stats essay report, this first particular quarter, significant level of mistrust between government and its people, 
serious challenges that the academic sphere or academic institutions face in the country with many students who are not studying currently. The challenges, of course, in how we deliver our training with artificial intelligence, chat GPT and others. And we do this knowing very well that all of us have a responsibility to develop our country to make it the best that it can be. I focus on South Africa a little bit as an institution. We serve graduates across the world. As you all have heard recently, that Regenesis is in India, is in Nigeria, is in Kenya, and now in the US. This is a significant achievement for Regenesis for the number of years that we have existed, we have sought to deliver quality education. We've sought to awaken potential of those who occupy and those who aspire for management and leadership positions. Since 2001, we have contributed about 15,000 graduates to the economy of South Africa, particularly. This year only, this is a fourth graduation ceremony and we're at 704 with 14 doctorate degrees to be honored tonight. With, I think we deserve a round of applause. <laughs> My role tonight is to get the program rolling and ensure that all of you have the wonderful picture on stage and you are celebrated. And I'm, I'm hastened to say that there, there might be uh, individuals in the house who are worried about uh, having seen certain uh, individuals who might just get them on television tomorrow night. Uh, we spotted Jeremy Max. We spotted JJ Tabani. And of course, in his rent, as you know, JJ goes on his runs, Mukwena. He might just pick on one of you graduates to come on and talk about how we change things in the country. This is a way to say welcome to all of you and hopefully we have a wonderful night ahead. Our keynote address tonight will be rendered by this Tembi Sopagati. Malatsi o tshona le a ke malatsi a bo itumelo a lo go re tsiana go ya go re le tshone ya go rutlwe re itumele re ithute re le boge se o re senelwa ke ka mo go mpene re kopile nyana go re re phakathi a tlo bule rona he is a director in human capital practice at Deloitte consulting focusing on organizational transformation he holds his master's degree in business administration from the University of South Africa, UMISA, and a master of strategic marketing uh, from Cardiff University in the United Kingdom. He also holds several other engineering qualifications. I think we need him for ESCOM. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. He holds several other engineering qualifications, and he has completed management and leadership programs also from University of South Africa. Stembizo has a deep uh, passion for organizational design and behavioral change management. He helps organization and, and he's particularly in his organization to navigate the challenges so that people can better um, understand the impact of technology, social and economic change. He has co-authored and published articles about the future of work in the mining industry. He's a part-time lecturer at the University of the Witwatersrand in the Department of Economics and Human Sciences, and he's also a visiting lecturer at Gordon Institute uh, uh, Business School, Gibbs. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Dr. Tembi Sopagati.
Mr. Program Director, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished faculty members, uh, proud parents, uh, and the remarkable graduating group of 2022. Uh, graduates, you have reached a milestone that represents years of dedication, resilience, unwavering commitment to academic excellence. Uh, today we gather not only to celebrate your remarkable achievements, but also to embark on a journey of reflection, inspiration, and empowerment. As I look out at this sea of accomplished individuals, I'm reminded of the incredible potential that resides within each and every one of you. You are the architects of our, your own futures, the catalysts of change, and the embodiment of li limitless possibilities. Today, as we come together to, to mark the culmination of educational journey, we also lay the foundation for the boundless opportunities that await you in the world beyond these walls. This ceremony is not just an event. It is a celebration of your triumphs, your growth, your unwa unwavering pursuit of knowledge. It is a testament to the countless hours of hard work, sacrifice, determination that have brought you to this pivotal moment. And as we honor your achievements, we also recognize the unwavering support and guidance provided by exceptional faculty and staff um, who have been instrumental in shaping your academic journey. But let us not forget the loved ones who have stood by your side throughout this incredible journey to the parents, the siblings, friends, mentors, who have offered unwavering encouragement, love, and belief in your potential. Thank you. Today is a testament to their unwavering faith in your abilities. Graduates, as you step into the world beyond these walls, I implore you to embrace the possibilities that lie ahead with open hearts and open minds. Your time at this esteemed institution has equipped you not only with knowledge, but also with tools, resilience needed to navigate the complexities of life. You are now well prepared to face the challenges, seize the opportunity, and make profound impact on the world. As we gather here today, let us reflect on the transformation or the transformative power of education, the unbreakable spirit that resides within each of us, and the immense potential we hold to shape a better tomorrow. I'd like this ceremony to serve as a springboard for your aspirations, a reminder of the remarkable heights you have already reached, and a catalyst for extraordinary accomplishments that lie ahead. With this in mind, I'd like to share some of my own life lessons, eight guiding principles that will hopefully serve as a compass guiding you on your own journey of personal and professional fulfillment. These lessons are not just words. They are valuable nuggets accumulated through my own experiences and those who have walked this path before you. The first one is around failure. I like to emphasize that you need to embrace failure. You will stumble. You will fall. You will be distracted because you should embrace failure. Embrace failure is a valuable teacher on the path to success. 
Helen Keller once said, character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience, trial, and suffering can the soul be strengthened, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Second one is around your passion. Pursue your passion fearlessly. Stand for something. Identify your purpose in life with determination. Passion is the fuel that propels you forward even in the face of challenges. Also remember that passion is the driving force behind any success and a bridge between dreams and reality. I like the words of Tony Robbins when he said, passion is the genesis of genius. It is about feeling the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. The third one is around resilience and perseverance. Cultivate res resilience. Life is filled with obstacles and challenges. Develop resilience, the ability to bounce back from adversity, and the persevere in the face of challenges. Remember this, uh, resilience is the unwavering belief in your inner strength and the capacity to rise above any circumstance. Number four, which might be familiar with all of you, embrace continuous learning. This is a very good life lesson for me. Graduation is not the end of any education. It is the beginning of a lifelong journey of learning, personal development, and fulfillment. Embrace growth mindset and be open to new knowledge, ideas, experiences. Continuously seek opportunities for self-improvement, self-development, as Tetsuya Nomura found, the day you stop learning is the day you stop living. Number five, foster authentic connections and relationships. Cultivate meaningful relationships and connections. Surround yourself with people and individuals that inspire you challenge you, support your dreams. Remember that success is often a collaborative effort. We are all connected in ways that no one can fathom, that we cannot fathom. The tiniest gesture can have ripple effect that extends beyond our wildest imaginations. Number six, embrace change and adaptability. I like this one because the world continues to evolve at a very fast pace. In a rapidly evolving world, change is inevitable. Embrace change and, and cultivate adaptability. Be open to new opportunities, ideas, and perspectives. By embracing change, you position yourself to seize new possibilities and navigate the ever-changing landscape of life. So that's what we face today. Wind doesn't break a tree that bends. Be flexible. Number seven, practice self-compassion and mindfulness. I emphasize this because sometimes as professionals, we don't take so much care of ourselves. Prioritize self-care, self-compassion, and mindfulness. Take care of your physical, mental, and emotional well-being, and nature a healthy lifestyle. Prioritize self-reflection and practice gratitude. 
Remember that taking care of yourself enables you to better take care for others. The last point is very important and very close to my heart as well, and a very good lesson. Make a difference in the world. Find something that's unique to you that you can share with the world. Use your knowledge, skills, privileges to make, it, to make a positive impact. Seek opportunities to serve communities. Even small acts of kindness. Advocate for justice and equality and contrib contribute to a, a greater good. As I said, remember that small acts of kindness, compassion, can create a ripple effect for a positive change. I like the words of Mahatma Gandhi once when he said, the simplest acts of kindness are by far more powerful than a thousand heads bowing in prayer. Now, as, I embark, as you embark on this new chapter of your lives, remember these lessons, embrace them, hopefully they are useful to you, and apply them in, in your daily lives. The world eagerly awaits your unique talents, perspectives, and contributions. You have the power to shape industries, challenge norms, and redefine what is possible. But remember that true greatness is not found in individual accolades alone. It is also found in the collective effort to create a more inclusive, just, and equitable society. Once again, graduates, congratulations. May your journey be filled with purpose, fulfillment, and endless opportunity. Thank you. I kept nodding my head and um, uh, whilst I was listening and, and reflecting, because that's where he started. And it was a good way. Um, I don't know how many of you are aware that this week uh, there's just been endless debates on radio about a mayor of Johannesburg who doesn't have a post-metric qualification. And with all sorts of uh, views and opinions on radio, um, we are reminded that from our constitution, because we are a constitutional democracy, the mayor has a right to be a mayor and because it's voted in by the people. And uh, in our constitution, or, there's no such a thing that says you must have a degree or a qualification to become a mayor or a politician. But of course, he was attacked left and right um, this week. And I'm saying this because of us reflecting when listening uh, to Rapaga to hear about uh, how we carry ourselves in the world and how we look at things and how we perceive the environment that we live in. And I'm glad that you do not have to face that if you are ever, ever, ever going to go into a political space or into your careers, because at least you would then say, I have this qualification and this is what I am or I am capable of doing. I also looked at this and I thought, I, and maybe I, I put myself in your shoes and I said, because some of you have just completed those research reports, your life.
very soon. You know that, no? Okay. Respecting stage eight. But if I start like this at a graduation ceremony, I don't think stage eight will come. Right? And we'll hear with a round of applause that you're going to get uh, that we will all have at stage eight. Okay. You're with me, right? In spirit? Okay. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's start and celebrate this wonderful people. Uh, as you can see, they are, they are ready. And if you don't clap for them, we won't clap for you. <laughs> okay, so you better clap for them and ululate because if you come on stage, we're not going to clap for you. Family members, this is your job tonight. Ah, yeah, we go, right? <laughs> okay, congratulations too. Gerardus van Rooyen, kom laude. Now you know why I started with him, ne? Yeah. Congratulations to Nkanyiso Archibald Zondi. Aha. Dashan Chetty. <laughs> Lorraine Tuanele Mapala. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> Luhandra Ruben Ludic. Well done. <laughs> Congratulations to Kisti Nicole Mayer. Let's put our hands together for Palisa Egbert Musenene. Muriel Komutso Nkumani. Ingenel, well done. Nangam Sosani, well done, congratulations, ma'am. Okay, Dr. Law, I'm not sure if they're smiling. Like I was focusing on their names. So I, I told them that with the AI technology, if they don't smile, this thing does not flash. And I haven't seen a flash. So you're the first one to, okay, big smile, big smile. Big. There we go. No matembe, ngobo, cum laude! Sabara Johnny, well done. Zan Christian Furi. Violet Rambau. We do mel Oleni Ma Kobanyani. Well done. Zinselanga. Congratulations to Ndifalani Thomas Chilongo. Veronica has arrived. <laughs> Veronica Togozi Lokumalo. Okay, Lorenzo Manuela Giovanni. <laughs> Vala Kanyisa Pumla Veronica Kumlaude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, come man, we are nobody, the man. Hey, kill him, kill power. Well done. Musa Melembe. Well done, sir. Congratulations to Confidence Nube.
Okay, there must be something wrong here. You can't have the same name and the same name. Hi, Bo. Okay, if, you, if there's anyone from Home Affairs, please follow this gentleman after this. Miaiza, Miaiza. How good. I wonder what it means, but it probably means handsome, handsome. Angela Agbaba. Tashika Mudli, congratulations. For those who are in India and in Nigeria graduating tonight, that, and you are not able to make it to the graduation ceremony, uh, this gentleman says, I must tell you, he's representing you. Kalat Masango! Tsepiso Denny. Is that more or? Okay. You know, some people, we never know whether you are this other side or the other side of the, you know. Tamnik Candice Moore. Awesome Pomashir. Uberigile King. Ari to Melen Ligugule Tim Luli. Well done to the Ketseng Ivy. Matala. We there. Last but not least, Florina. Yera. Okay. Clarina something something. Mutaun. Okay. Her real name is Maid Fomo. Clarina Maid Fomo Mutaun. Well done. I think I celebrate the parents for that name. Mine are so simple. May I please have my next candidate? Where am I now, Dr. Law? Hey. Hi. So quickly. Hey. hey, man, this one's have done a three-year degree, man. Why do they come so quickly? I thought I'd delay it a little bit. Huh? <laughs> Dr. Law, will you award the Bachelor of Business Administration to the candidates I'm honored to present to you? Yes, I will. Thank you very much. Let's do this. Where are the others? <laughs> okay, it can't be like, you know, there's a problem in BBA. People compete so much that they actually kick each other out. Some people in the teams or in the learning groups, they don't survive, they don't get to this point. Ma'am, were you doing that? Were you the team leader? <laughs> we start with you because we love you, man. I need to, you know, we love you. Seriously. Okay. Congratulations to Johanna Mahachi. <laughs> to Lim Daga. Very difficult. Where, where did I see you? Western Cape, I thought so. I thought so, it was Western Cape. You do have power, ne? Always. Okay, always. <laughs> Jan Matis, congratulations. All the way from the Western Cape. Jabu Lila, fortunate in Bata. Well done, Jabu. Ati Bantona Bagezi, le. Au Maseho Grace Phyllis, congratulations. Lerato Makama, well done. 
Hey, the way you look so beautiful tonight, I hope you're not going to join Housewives of Jobek. <laughs> yeah? Aye, not with our degree, man. Aye. Okay, let's try Housewives of Mafikeng. Amita Nko Sazanye Yisizwe Raboteng. Aha, kwa. Sapampa Tata Di. Kwa. Katle Robi Sokomuloto. Congratulations to Rorisang Praise Mpafi. You see, this one's with the, B, with the BBA qualification. I mean, they really enjoyed turning it in for three years, right? <laughs> so you can see that they've been battered and everything by that turn it in. So they can't, they can't wait for the PDBM, right? Because now ChatGPT is going to help them. Ah, we have a solution for it. Hangwani Gloria Masindi. Well done. Wait for this one. Clementine Mpo Musehani Cum Laude. Congratulations to Fab Fabian Patrick Prince. Yeah, my second. <laughs> uh, two sister Jackson must wear. Mbalense Jacqueline Gwenyama. Congratulations, ma'am. Loni Mahole, well done. Just hold on a minute. We're negotiating a degree, another degree. <laughs> okay. I think I've decided to give a, a bachelor in business administration. She was asking for something slightly different, but I think she's done well for BBA. Angelique Olio! <laughs> Nandi Pabengu, well done, ma'am. Oops, oops. Injury on duty one. Injury on duty. Hey, now I'm sure on man. Master Pele Muntinia, congratulations. Miriam Kutala Koza. Well done, my brother. Well done. You know, I've been waiting for three years to tell you this. Well done. <laughs> Three years to tell you this. Well done. I'm very proud of you, you know? Like, I feel you. This thing is, you know, I feel you. Amos Muzi. <laughs> and she's from my family, Vivian Matonzi. Donald Rudolph Philippus. Hi, what is serious? So, you are too. Wait, what on the serious? So, all serious. Put little man. Let us. Aha! There we go. No funde o bongi wa mashavani. Congratulations to Fanaz Ali. Hey, hey, Bumalanga is well represented in the house. The people from where the sun rises. Ntanta Perestrello. And the husband could not be beaten to it. Sexo Perestrello.
Congratulations to Renstia Elizabeth Roots. Well done. Mpo Clement Mukhatusi. Aha. Enis Bongile Dube. Well done, ma'am. Lerato Chantel Kubeka. What happened? They didn't buy you lunch. Who? Who? Who, who did you come with? Okay. Uh, Menier, I can see you waving your hand right at the back. She's waiting for the dinner surprise. The restaurants are still open. And now you will see her smile. Right? Let's go for it. Katleho Azalia Lelita. Lehuta, cum laude, Malehuta. Simpi we loit matibela. Kwa. Muntuza Christopher Traba. Well done, sir. Let's put our hands together for a Sirindran. Patho. Buitselo January Murise. Ntato kin tate bongani. Ene libito leni la kaila bo bedi ki Michael. Otsu ako kaba loi. Congratulations. Hey. Okay. Congratulations to Taten Dampofu. Nomalungelo Bengu. And Danny Steven. Here? Okay. Where did I meet this surname? Which part of the world is this? Yeah, somewhere where my family comes from. And Dani Steven, Steven Nesamori, all the way from Limpopo. <laughs> Michael Murawa Manyama, well done. Rito Mabasa, cum laude. Keith, Keith, <laughs> Keith, <laughs> you know they had a conference before they gave you a name, ne? your parents and grandparents had a conference. <laughs> Keith, Sibangisalo, Sibio, Arle Bahamudin, Agir. We thank God in Tate Makita. Ben Noki Makita. Harrison Muchenga. Well done, Harrison. Last but not least. Last but not least. Okay. Andres Junior Matamela Netsutini. Dr. Law, this is a candidate that I would love you to give her the degree, a, a qualification tonight, a certificate, because she's very special. 
Okay, her name is only in green. Others were in yellow. All right, and she can't wait. A higher certificate in business management. Londi Way Engel, Ngoasi. Well done, ma'am. Okay, I think I am going too fast. To be announcing MBAs so early in the night, it's not good. I mean, like, with MBAs, you must wait like nine o'clock. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah? No, no, this is too early in the night to be announcing MBAs. This is not right. Eh? Aye, man. You guys, you studied only after nine, innit? I mean, be before nine, you were still at home, like we were still having dinner with the family and the likes, only after nine. This is not fair. Okay. Dr. Law, will you award the Master of Business Administration to the candidates I'm honored to present to you? Yes, I will. Thank you very much. Now, these are the big guns. If, if you go downstairs, uh, at the parking lot and you see all the cars that are there. <laughs> all the cars that are there. The ones that have got the names of the people, you know who they belong to. <laughs> we are very proud of you. This is a serious achievement. Right? They all look to you. Like, look at them. <laughs> MBA. Right? Uh, there's an advert that talks about an NBA <laughs> on television. Watch it. Our first candidate, Dr. Law, Sylvester Nkosinati Tsotezi. Congratulations to the poor Zelda Mutau. John Ernest Machedi. Congratulations to Siba. Okay, Batabile Sibata. Well done, sir. Dabezit. Aye. I'm using all forms just in case, you know. Dabezita is fine. Okay. Okay, I want to hear that uh, you must have brought somebody who can do this real thing about this, who represents this thing. They're not. Okay, they're on television. My wife. Oh, wifey? <laughs> We're waiting for Istagaze. Santa Bezita. Aha! Walter Spamanza, Sisali, congratulations, sir. Aha! Yeah! Natasha, you, you can't wait to dance. Ne? <laughs> Natasha, you can't wait to dance. Natasha, wait, Natasha. Like, the party's coming over the weekend, right? No, we, like, we're going, to, we're going to the zoo lake <laughs> on <the> weekend. <laughs> Natasha Talbot, congratulations, Natasha. Well done to Mokoba Beatrice Matabat. Well done, ma'am. Yes, he is graduating today. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, no. Let's put our hands together for Terusalan Mutli. Let's put our hands together and give it a serious round of applause. Daniela Leandra Novo Peterson. Cum laude! <laughs> Can you see the Masongan? Well done, ma'am. 
Le rato Sharon Kibile. Well done. Danko. Jonas Kwes Matlangu. Congratulations to Lena Mpina Chababa. Well done. My brother, we have arrived. It's been, it's been a long journey. Ah, yo. It's been a long journey. I think if people search on Regenesis pictures, <laughs> they might find me and this guy, I don't know, on a parking lot, trying to sort out some assignment that did not go through. I don't know what else. Eh? Oh, no, you remind them. Okay, so this my, he's reminding me that it wasn't in the parking lot. We did an educational trip to Dubai. We had a wonderful time, and we learned a lot. Hey, we just want them to bring the Guptas back. Go on in Zizi, congratulations. <laughs> Wendy Lorraine Lushaba, well done, ma'am. I love your smile, I love your smile, keep it like that. Innocentia Kaba! Beauties, Zibuile Maria Hadebe! Can you believe you have an MBA, Mare? Eh? Ha, eh? Sichaba Letwani! Well done, sir. Congratulations to Nombu Melelo Pel Mugwena. Aha. Yeah, you see, Pel brought that auntie. You can hear that, ne? Brought Pel brought the auntie. You can hear that, ne? Okay, let's hear it for you. Nkateko Mwene. Well done. John Colan in Gomezulu, well done, sir. <laughs> Maduele Matthews Mwati. Tobela Papa. Ah, no, it's for free. <laughs> Johannes Tamakani Makafula, well done. Congratulations to Bertha Masidiba Saletwa. Well done. Okay, these people, they, 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 their applauses are fading. You know why? Because they are holding them for the, for the doctorate people. And that's not fair, ne? Yeah, that's not fair. Let's just tell them MBA is a serious qualification. Right? Serious. They don't know that you're a Milone right here, right? They don't know. Right? Just with an MBA, just like. Okay, guys, we, we're looking for a serious applause for Veronese Faith Ali. Congratulations to Noma Gugu Petty Lem Shlongo. Joe Mushona, well done, sir. I say Joe, I say. Notando Siwaku, Siwaku, Siwakukele, Rambiza. Aha, congratulations. Is it one word or two words? Yeah. Okay. He didn't sleep for many nights. Shonak <laughs> Govan, cum laude. Congratulations to Gordon Litsema. 
well done, well done. This is great. Right? Right, Sibe Francina Tsaatsi. There we go. Are we ready? Let you emchunu. Mkunu. Well done. Congratulations to Pumzile Zwane. I'm not going to say anything about you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not going to say anything. You know, don't behave like those sundown fans. You know sundown fans? They don't go to the stadium unless it's for free. Eh? They're waiting for Petrus Mutsepe to pay for the whole stadium. Ah, Ibo. Don't behave like them. Are you from Pretoria? Yeah, yeah she's, I knew she's from Pretoria, yeah, man. Yes, yes. Tebuko, we see you at Piri. Congratulations. Aha. Matanato Hatlina Mwaila. Cum laude. Charles Henry Silas. Cum laude. Congratulations to Suran Maharaj. Help me celebrate Kirsten Lee Springgate. Cum laude. Well done. No time, no princess Shabangu. Well done, ma'am. We can dance. We can dance. Made us very proud. Absolutely proud. Well done to you. Well done to you. I need to take it. Okay. You know, I tried to spell, to pronounce your name for a long time, eh? over the last three years. So you're going you're gonna, to, you're just going to have to forgive me tonight. Okay. He gave me permission. Richie Cash Bagol, congratulations. Yeah, no, he made it easy. Adnan Ahmed, well done, sir. Let's put our hands together for Anika Buata. And this gentleman is coming for the MBA, uh, sorry, for the doctorate, certainly. If he's not registered, uh, sorry, somebody at the end must see to it that he's registered. Clearly, I mean, you didn't feel this, right? I did. You did? No. Oh, good. <laughs> Alessandro Nado Cum Laude. <laughs> Dr. Law, will you award the Doctor of Business Management? to the candidates and I'm, I'm honored to present to you. Yes, I will. Okay, this is the big one. At least it's after seven. Whew. I was worried, you know, doctorates before seven. I mean, that, that is not, that's not enough. That's not good enough. Doctorates after seven. Okay, these ones are the ones who never slept for the past four years. <laughs> Half of them are divorced. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, this is reliable information from the Regenesis database. <laughs> okay. Half of them are divorced, 
Half of them have gained weight by just sitting down and studying and reading articles. A third of them have stopped believing in God. <laughs> The majority of them believe that the sun will not rise tomorrow. <laughs> However, all of them have achieved greatness tonight. A big round of applause. <clears throat> May I present Edgar first? Edgar can come and stand right here with me. Oh. Is that? Oof. Edgar Adams is taking a walk of fame. Edgar's supervisor is Professor Njoku Ala Amar. In his thesis titled The Effect of Performance Management Systems on Employee Performance in the City of Johannesburg Metropolitan Municipality, the candidate explored the impact of performance management system by using a quantitative research design. The research findings indicate that although feedback, performance targets, rewards, training and mentoring, and motivation did not positively impact employees' work quality, motivation, and performance targets, uh, work motivation and performance target had significant positive impact on employees' work quantity. The researcher recommends a holistic approach to reinforcing reliable and sustainable performance management systems implementation in the municipality, including training managers and supervisors on effectively implementing rewards, feedback, training, mentoring, and motivation. Congratulations to Edgar Adams! You did. You did the word the doctor is right? She did. Can I help? Okay, it's been a long night or a long day, but we still have a way to go. Ladies and gentlemen, I, pro I, I, I present Kangeile David Jagwe. His supervisor, his supervisor is Professor Emmanuel Mutambara. Can David come through here? Thank you very much. Redesigning and tendering process within the Department of Transport. A case study of procurement management was the title of the candidate's thesis in which he explored the e-tendering process within the KZN Department of Transport. Quantitative research was employed. The findings confirmed that the e-tendering has a positive effect on buyer-supplier relationship, procurement processes, and operational delivery. It was recommended that the KwaZulu-Natal Department of Transport must do away with a paper-based procurement and move swiftly to e-tendering from start to finish of the procurement process. David Kangailwe Jakwe!
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Godfrey Koza. His supervisor, his supervisor is Professor K.K. Gavenda. Well done, Godfrey, well done. Godfrey with his thesis titled Supply Chain management practices, challenges, excuse me, strategies and performance of the private residential construction sector in South Africa critically evaluate the supply chain management strategies and challenges of the private residential construction sector in South Africa. The study adopted a mixed approach. The findings indicated that a significant positive relationship between the performance of private residential contract construction sector and supply chain challenges, supply chain strategies, and supply chain processes. A framework was proposed comprising supply chain management practices, which will enable them to enhance performance. Ladies and gentlemen, Godfrey Koza. Aha! Hua! I present to you Sbusiso Peter Matonzi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter Spusi Somatonzi Supervisor Aha I'm cool man Supervisor Professor Richard Chinomona in his thesis titled Healthcare Service Quality and Satisfaction, an assessment of proposed interventions to improve service delivery in rural Mpumalanga hospitals of South Africa. He examined the effects of empathy, efficiency, tangibility, safety, reliability, responsiveness, assurance, communication, and discipline on improved service delivery and patient satisfaction with improved service delivery. The findings provide healthcare practitioners with strategies that can be employed to effectively influence customer satisfaction. Peter Matonzi. Aha! Elect Shabani Masianoha. I present to you Ntate Masianoha. Aha! His supervisor, Professor K.K. Gavender.
with his thesis titled The Influence of Ethical Leadership on Employee Creative and Innovative Behavior in a State-Owned Enterprise. The candidate critically examined the influence of ethical leadership on employee creative and innovative behavior. This mixed method study found that ethical leadership in general motivate and support employees to behave creatively using the moral and ethical obligation, leadership style attributes, and social power. An idea journey framework was presented to stimulate idea exploration, idea generation, idea championing, and idea implementation to map strategies that improve creative and innovative behavior outputs. I present to you Ilek Shabani Masiano. Aha! Vitas? Namula Matukani. I present to you. Are you good? Okay. Vitas Namula Matukani. Well done. La la His supervisor Dr. Asaf Mushikaro congratulations to you doc also Ladies and gentlemen I present to you Vitus Namula Matukani. His th th thesis is titled Township Based Entrepreneurs in South Africa A Framework to Enable Meaningful Participation of Challenged Entrepreneurs Critically Explored the Township Entrepreneurship Phenomenon. A grounded theory approach was followed. The, can the candidate contributed a conceptual and a theoretical framework for entrepreneurship policy development to enable meaningful participation of the challenged township-based entrepreneurs in the township economy. I present to you Vikas Vitas Namula Matukane. Congratulations. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Bongile Georgina Mazibuko. What in Supervisor Professor E. Mutambara. Aha. There we go.
In a thesis titled Bureaucratic Leadership Framework Towards Strategic Decision Making at the Department of Trade, Industry and Competition, the candidate explored ways to integrate bureaucratic leadership with strategic decision making by developing a bureaucratic leadership framework for strategic decision making at the DTIC. The study applied explanatory sequential mixed research methods, a research, a research design methodology across two phases and recommends a hybrid bureaucratic framework for, a complex, leader, for complex leadership at the DTIC. I present to you Sbongile Georgina Maziboko. Sonto Bridget Ngonyane. Alala. Congratulations also goes to her supervisor, her supervisor, Professor Njoku Ola Ama. Well done. In a thesis, the effect of organizational culture on sustainable supply chain management performance, the case study of, a, of South African automotive industry manufacturer, the candidate evaluated the effect of organizational culture on sustainable supply chain management performance and bridged the gap regarding the close nexus and pivotal role of organizational culture by linking it with supply chain. A mixed method approach was applied. The study recommends that the automotive industry manufacturers acknowledge the importance of fostering organizational culture, which brings about good stakeholder relationship, human capital development, and innovation in order to ensure effective SSCMP and improve product quality, sales, minimize manufacturing and transport, uh, transportation cost, and gets better lead and delivery time on goods to their customers. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Santa Bridget Nkonyane. Lungani Tandos Fison Kuta. His supervisor is Professor Richard Shunamona. Ladies and gentlemen, this candidate in his thesis is titled Management of Information Communication Technology and E-Learning Technology Integration in Limpopo Province's Mathematics, Science and Technology High Schools investigate the management of ICT and E-Learning integration in the schools. A mixed method research design was employed. The results showed that most participants were aware and had positive attitude toward ICT and e-learning technologies. But implementation was hindered by resource constraints and inadequate training. 
an operational plan for the sustainable integration of these technologies in the MST schools was proposed. I present to you Lungani Tandos Fisonguta. Elvis Mashasela Shongwe. Let's hear it for Elvis Mashasela Shongwe. His supervisor is Professor Emmanuel Mutambara. With his thesis, rethinking and or rethinking the implementation of quality management system performance appraisal system by school principals in Mpumalanga province. The candidate explored the challenges that principals experience in the implementation of quality management system performance appraisal in the schools. The study revealed severe shortages in implementation as well as the existence of sabotage and political interference in the workplace. It is recommended the Department of Education review its allocation of financial resources to schools for the implementation of the quality management system and rather consider the engagement of independent bodies to oversee and evaluate the implementation of QMS in the schools. Elvis Matasela Shangwe. Iso Natata. Aye. Kwa! Tabani Hamilton Sutole. Jovicho. His supervisor, Dr. Asap Mushikaro. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> the candidate's thesis titled Exploring Leadership Behavioral Competencies to Promote Workplace diversity and inclusion in South African steel and engineering sector explored leadership behavioral competencies that are key to improving diverse and all-inclusive workplaces. The study revealed that discrimination, bullying, and insensitive behavior towards employees are still being experienced in the workplace, but not overtly. A broader understanding of leadership and cultural diversity is recommended to address these issues. I present to you Tabani Hamilton Sitole. We get in there. Johannes. Christian Stolz. Abizo Ligama Baba.
His supervisor is Professor Krishna Gavinder. Congratulations to you, Prof. Johannes in his thesis titled Exploring the Impact of Quality Management System on the In Vitro Diagnostic Industry in South Africa. The candidate explored the contribution and impact of ISO certification to the South African IVD medical device industry. A mixed method approach was followed. The findings revealed that there are different views on whether there is a need for ISO certification in the IV in IVD industry in South Africa. A framework was developed for the implementation of the ISO certification that will, that will foster service excellence. I present to you Johannes Christian Stoltz. Masiko Benedicta Chabalala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How Senkela Masiko, you will never come around. How Senkela Masiko, you will never come around. You will never, you will never come all right. You will never, you will never come all right. How thank you, Lama Siko, you will never come all right. How thank you, Lama Siko. Aha! Her supervisor, Professor Fano Mashau. with a thesis titled Glass Ceiling for Women in Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. A case study of diversity management, the candidate critically investigated the underrepresentation of women in STEM positions. This study utilized a descriptive research design to investigate the existence of a glass ceiling for women. It was found that the advancement of women with STEM degrees is not prioritized and the glass ceiling continues to impede the advancement of women in STEM. A conceptual and practical model was suggested to advance women in STEM fields. Masiko Benedicta Chabalala. Next, the glass ceiling is still there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, last but not least, as we celebrate all these doctors tonight. I think we need to celebrate them. I feel like there's a need for a drum roll for the last very long. Oh, yes! Oh, yes!
Sbongiseni, Daniel Kumalo, his supervisor, Dr. Asaf Mushigaro. Well done, Dr. Asaf. The son of the soil. In his thesis titled Engagement at Private Higher Education Institutions. The relationship between spiritual leadership and employee engagement. The candidate critically assessed the relationship between spiritual leadership and employee engagement. After a quantitative research design was employed, the study concluded that spiritual leadership helps employees see how their participation and collaboration are in accord with the values and visions of the organization. It is also essential for the advancement of the organization's vision and strategy. The researcher recommended that attributes of spiritual leadership, such as hope and faith, are embedded in the vision, mission, and strategy, and that they be reflected and communicated more prominently in the strategy implementation. I present to you, Sbongiseni, Daniel, Kumalo. humble dean you can find. Well done. Uh, Dr. Law, I, I, I know that we, you know, people want to celebrate this, but you know the song that I usually sing at graduations does not represent everybody. So today I thought with the spectrum of people that we have, just after you've done this, I want to see if this song can just zama them, you know? Yes. So, uh, Dr. Law, Executive Dean, will you award the certificates, degrees, masters, or, or master's degrees, bachelor's degrees, doctors of business management in absentia to the persons whose names were not read but appear on the program? Yes, I will. Thank you very much. That concludes this part of the ceremony. I, I, I feel like uh, that celebration for Dr. For, 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 for Kumalo uh, uh, deserves a celebration by all of us. So let me just tell you, we, we have in the house Dr. Daniel Kumalo. We have in the house Dr. Benedicta Chabalala. We have in the house Dr. Johannes Stoltz. We have in the house Dr. Tabani Hamilton Sitole. We have Dr. Matlasela Shongwe. Dr. Lungani Tandos Fiso Nkuta. We have Dr. Sonto Bridget Nkonyani. Dr. Smongile Georgina Mazibuko. Dr. Ngamla Matukani. Dr. Shabani Masianoha. And last but not least, Dr. Peter Busi Somatunzi. Aye. Leading Kalagat. Leading Kalagat, I think. Leading Kalagat.
request. One of the students to give us feedback so that we also contribute to the notion of engagement and community engagement in what we do. So tonight we will be addressed. Okay, I think this student has decided to disappear from my page. Godfrey, are you here? <laughs> Dr. Koza will present his address or will deliver his address on behalf of all the st students this evening. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, the, uh, Program Director. Distinguished guests, Regenesis uh, Management Executive, faculty members, family, and the class of the 2023, I wish you a very good evening. It is an honor and a privilege to address you on this special occasion. I am very honored to be invited and speak at the, at the Regenesis 2023 graduation ceremony. I can admit that writing this speech was even harder than writing my thesis. <laughs> Believe you me, I would have never imagined that there would be anything harder than writing a thesis. It's not an easy task, but I will try. I will start by reflecting on the past three years that I have spent on this program. Studying towards my DBM was quite a lonely journey. I have spent a lot of time in the study room, researching, attending conferences, and engaging with my peers. The journey, it was not easy during those three years. My courage, strength, and faith were tested. However, I am grateful for the support that we receive from the Regenesis Management Research Faculty for always attending our inquiries on time and motivating us. My sincerest appreciation also goes to my supervisor, Professor Gavenda, for his valuable guidance, advice regarding my research work in the last two years. To my fellow D DBM graduate, Thank you for sharing your knowledge and your experience during our first year in the research, research methodology class. Lastly, I will la lastly to my family. Thank you so much for your great support. I will not made it without them. Their constant advice, encouragement, always give me the strength to put more effort into my studies in order to accomplish my goal. I have learned the importance of having a study timetable, even when you are doing a, a research project and sticking to it. It allowed me to complete my studies on time and to have a balanced life. The Regenesis Management DBM qualification has afforded me an opportunity to be a subject expert in my field and to contribute to the body of knowledge. As a result, one peer review article is published and then another paper is under review. This program has taught me not to fear failure because each failure takes us and drive us closer to getting that one piece of data that will bring it all together and learn from it. I have learned to be an in deep and critical thinker before taking any business decision. In closing, I will let me quote from our Regenesis chairperson. He said, fall in love with your purpose and success will follow. When you fall in love with your purpose, you transcend physical limitation, money, food, and time, you start operating on a 
a higher level of energy where everything is magical and possible. It is important to have a purpose in life. Purpose guides our life decision, influence our behavior, shape goals, offer a sense of direction, create meaning. Without it, you will live your life less focused and restless. To all the graduates, well done and continue to pursue your purpose. Thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful graduation ceremony with your family and friends, and I wish you all the best for the future. With every class that we have, we, the academic committee, sets out the process of identifying the best students in class. So, the only team that follows a different structure is this MBA. You see, as we thank him for his wonderful words, the MBAs, the masters in, the, in public management and the MBA, those ones fall in the category of the Dean's uh, Award. So tonight, we also are going to issue out the Top Student Achievement Awards, and I'm happy to say that in the majority of classes that we have had this year. So, for those who did the higher certificate in business management, please help me welcome your top student who's coming to the fourth to come and receive this top student achievement award. And I'm going to ask the academic head, Ms. Patience Nyoni, and our, our guest, Dr. Pagati, to really con congratulate this, um, uh, this candidate. Our top student award for higher certificate in business, ma higher certificate in business management goes to Tendai Patno. Is Tendai here? Okay, so we will receive the award on behalf of Tendai. I'm not sure which country he's in, but wherever he is, even if that country is Northern Cape, we will still appreciate him. <laughs> you see, we don't give those who just came to a ceremony. It goes by like, you must deserve it. Top Student Award in the Bachelor of Business Administration, the BBA, goes to Clementine Musehani. Come along, Clementine, come along. Aha. Well done. This is an invitation to do a postgraduate diploma, ma'am. <laughs> Fortunately for you, it's an invitation. May I invite Professor Flip to join, to join you, sir? Please let him join you as we congratulate the following candidates for the Top Student, Achieve, top student uh, Achievement Award for the Master of Business Administration. It's a tie. Congratulations to Kesten Lee Springate. Is Kesten there? Come through, Kesten. And Charles Henry Silliers. 
Top Student Award, Top Achievements for the Master of Business Administration. Well done. Well done. Come through, Cha. Corruption, corruption, Charles. How can you be friends? <laughs> well done. Thank you so much. The executive dean, this is your award. The dean's award for research. The Dean's Award for Research is awarded to an MBA or a Master's in Public Management student who attains an overall average of 80% for their minimum uh, for a mini dissertation, and whose dissertation reflects the student having used advanced statistical data analysis techniques, and where a related article is accepted or under consideration for publication in an ISI or IBSS accredited or indexed journal. The award is adjudicated by the Higher Degrees and Research Committee. And this year, the Dean's Award goes to Batabile Sibata. Batabile Siba. An analysis into the impact of an integrated facilities management solutions at service at Servest PTY Limited. Congratulations. It's been fun, ladies and gentlemen. I have seven minutes between me and the time that I promised you. And I want to give eight, eight, seven of those minutes to Dr. Saravanya before we close. Please welcome the chairperson of the Genesis to address you this evening. Thank you, Vivian. I would like to thank you all for going through what you went through. I know it was a very difficult, difficult process. Some of you, I don't know, four, five, six years. I remember this gentleman before, before COVID. So it was really difficult, I think, to just survive COVID. Many of us, most of us, we did not know if we we're going to be alive and survive. Hmm? And uh, bachelor's degree students for three, four years, doctorate's degree students, four, five, six years, some of you. I know it was difficult, it was difficult. Hmm? On, on multiple levels. Many of you, when you started, you were not sure if you'll be able to complete this journey. You had a fears, not just fear of COVID, but fear of all types of fears. Are you intelligent you know, enough? You, know, you had doubts. Are you intelligent enough? Will you be able to pass those exams? and assignments, and how many of them, how many late nights, unslept nights, and weekends, hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. And I want to thank you for persevering and for not giving up. I know all of you had multiple times doubts and temptations to give up. So I want to thank you for for continuing, for persevering, for not giving up, and for coming and, and, and completing your journey. I want to remind you that the reason why we, all, why, did, why we did all of this, you know, it's not just to get this degree. It's not just about, you know, getting a title doctor or MBA or, or bachelor's degree. There's something greater than getting your degree and getting promotion and money and all those 
you know, physical, material things. I believe that that's something greater is our, our dream, our collective dream, to make our world a better place. Hmm? So I want to thank you for being part of the dream, Regenesis dream of making our world a better place. By going through this personal transformation and journey and pain and everything you went through, you're now a changed person. You're different. You know. You're empowered. And you're changed on every level, not just on intellectual. On intellectual level, you're different. You're smart. You're clever. You're able to communicate better. You're able to write, convince, negotiate, strategize, manage people, organizations, and, and money, and projects, and technology, and manage risks, and finances, and all types of things. But you are changed not only on, on intellectual level, but even more importantly on, on emotional level. You know yourself better. You're able to build better relationships with people. Be able, you're able to build trust in high-performing teams, loyalty. You're able to build that invisible energy that keeps everything together, the organizational culture, trust loyalty, sense of belonging. But you are transformed also on, on a spiritual level. And spiritual intelligence, I believe, it is the highest form of intelligence. You have questioned your purpose and meaning. That purpose has given you direction and strength during difficult times. Hmm? Because you remind yourself you're not doing this only for yourself. You're doing it for your family, for your team, for your organization, for your community, for the country, for Africa, and for the world. Because you came to this world to make it a better place. Hmm? You came to this world to solve problems. And we have so many problems. Hmm? And that's the purpose why you did study, why you went through this difficult journey of personal change and transformation. So I want to remind you why you did all of this. Did this to solve the problems. And so many problems are there. And today in South Africa, we really face so many problems. It's so depressing, it's so difficult, it's so hard. From ESCOM, from unemployment, from potholes, from corruption. It's depressing and difficult. And who is going to change this if not you? So I want to remind you of your own inner power to make the change. I just want to remind you again that you are powerful, that you are divine, that power is within you, that everything you need to succeed, to achieve your dreams is within you. It's not outside. It's within you. But also enemy is within you. And the enemy is your fears, your self-limiting beliefs, hmm? your laziness, procrastination, shyness, jealousy. Hmm? So remember that you are special. You are one out of eight billion people. Hmm? You are born on this planet Earth for special purpose. You aren't born just to eat and sleep and to create and die not remembered. You are born to leave a legacy. You are born to do great things. Hmm? You are born for greatness. Hmm? Remind yourself all the time of that inner power. There's a genius in each one of you. Each one of you can change the world. Hmm? Each one of you can become a billionaire. In a few months, it just takes an idea and develop an app and solve problem in the world, make difference in the world, and make money and become billionaire. It's possible. But to do that, you need to change your thoughts. Hmm? Because what we think we become, if we think small, we become small. Become mediocre, we become mediocre. If we think big, we become big. So I want to encourage you to think big. Thinking big will stretch you. It will make you big. Hmm? I want to encourage you to push your own boundaries of comfort and fear. For those of you who have completed MBA, I want to encourage you to continue towards your doctorate. 
you can achieve what these ladies and gentlemen here have achieved. You are intelligent enough, you have a strength, you have a power to do that, you know. So I want to encourage you now, don't take the pedal off the accelerator, continue. Continue till you get there. Similarly for all of you who have graduated with a bachelor's degree, continue your studies. Push yourself. Continue developing yourself. It is all responsibility, it's all collective responsibility to help others who are less privileged, who don't have opportunity to develop themselves and to educate themselves. And there's so much suffering in the world, so much suffering. You look at what's happening in Ukraine, all injustices, unhappiness, and diseases, unemployment, and, and wars, and abuse, and all problems that we human beings have created. It's all about leadership. It's a leadership problem that we have today. So I want you to remi remind yourself again that knowledge is power. You don't abuse the power you gained. Use it for good. Use it to develop. Use it to help. Use it to make difference in the lives of people. Then you'll achieve your own dreams and your own happiness and your own purpose in life. So I wish you good luck on your journey. And I can't wait to hear success stories. Some of you will become CEOs, some of you will become mayors and ministers and presidents and executives, large multinational companies and your own business people. So please let us know when you achieve that success. We would like to celebrate with you. So thank you so much for everything you have done. Thank you for trusting your lives with regenicism and your families and, and your future. So I wish you good luck and God bless all of you. Thank you. Let me take this opportunity to thank everyone who spoke tonight and everybody and everyone who took part in this wonderful program. I um, appreciate all of you who've made the time and the effort to be here. Just one small announcement. All the uh, graduates who are part of uh, the Education for All program, you are requested to uh, stay behind and come and take a group picture here on the stage immediately that we, or after we've dissolved the ceremony. So please do not go elsewhere. Just start here, take that picture for all of you who are on the Education for All program. Those of you who have hired your gowns, um, do not go and collect the certificate. Submit and return your gowns first if you have hired it, and then go and collect your certificate. Otherwise, it's going to be a long queue, and then you're going to be sent back. It's been a beautiful night, and thank you. And thank you for honoring us, uh, grandparents, parents, brothers, sisters, husbands, wives, friends, it's been a great honor. Um, we truly appreciate spending this evening with you. Uh, we've been in great hands, and let me thank Regenesis staff. Uh, Deborah and her team have done an excellent job for the past week in running a graduation for over uh, 700 people. Um, all the academic staff and the faculty members and the administration, all of you who have really made an effort that this day becomes such a wonderful day. We truly appreciate you. We want to wish you well as you travel back home. You are in safe hands. You had an evangelist in the house, uh, so don't worry. Everything is covered. Uh, and uh, for those of you who have been, uh, who, who, who by chance uh, took a tot of whiskey, uh, let me tell you, <coughs> as you leave Genesis, don't be the one who drives. I'll tell you that for nothing because uh, uh, the, the traffic cops are all around. Every corner you will turn, they will be there to, to breathalyze you. Okay, so please do not drink and drive. If you're going to the malls and we have dinner there, enjoy it. That's the best thing you can do, but do not drink and drive. I'm going to ask the dean, or executive dean, Dr. Law, 
to declare the ceremony closed and then I'm going to ask you to stand up so that we then allow the procession to leave. Dr. Law. With the power vested in me, I now dissolve this assembly of Regenesis. Thank you very much, Ms. that. <clears throat> May I humbly ask you to rise so that we can allow the procession to leave.